What's going on, Leos? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. I'm laughing because I have started the intro for your reading. This is like my second time doing your... Well, I didn't do the reading the first time. I was only 30 seconds in, but I didn't like my intro to you. So I had to do it over. So hey, boo. What's up? Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. Check out the description box below if you want to inquire about personal readings. Um, all the, There's all information about becoming a member of this channel. Shout out to all the members. I love y'all so much. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Shout out to the members. Don't forget to like the reading, especially if it resonates, Leos. Hit me with that like button. Leave me with a comment. Let me know how it resonates. Subscribe and share. All that good stuff, right? Okay. If you want to purchase the extended read for this reading, the link is in the description box for that. Okay. I'll talk more about the extended at the end of your uh, read, okay? So if you're interested, I will see you there. All right. It's good to see you all. Let's see what's going on with you in love. As you can see, you're back to seeing my beautiful face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So what's going on with Leo in love? Please, universe, show me, please. What's going on with Leo in love? What's the first card we got here? All right, we got the King of Wands. That's you. Okay. Ha! Huh. That's a very electric energy. It's a real attractive energy. Very confident energy. Very commanding energy. Some of you could be dealing with another fire sign. You could be dealing with another Leo. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Sagittarius, some of you. Let's keep going. What else is going on with Leo and love here? Okay. Four Pentacles in reverse. Okay, that's about letting something go or not holding on to something. It's hard as maybe you did at one point. The Hierophant in reverse. Oh, shit. Some of you dealing with a Taurus. Uh-oh, what happened here? Oh, my God. It's showing me a separation with somebody, Leo. Or somebody not ready for commitment or some shit like that. Yeah, it's definitely showing me a situation. Oh my God. It's like you're determined to heal. Bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy Virgo here with the Hermit coming up behind the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. It seems like there's a situation here that you're trying to heal from. A situation that maybe at one point was what you thought it was gonna be, your emotional bliss, and it just definitely wasn't that or isn't that. And it's showing me you, the King of Wands, when you show up as a King of Wands, that's about energy of you, you taking care of some business. It's about action. So it's like you are determined to kind of get over this situation. That's what it looks like. Let's clarify some of these, okay? Clarify this um, King of Wands. This is you. Fire energy. But like I said, some of you could be dealing with another fire sign. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. King of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's like your determination to get, to kind of get over somebody or not let somebody stress you out any longer or not let somebody here be occupying a lot of your time and your energy that's what it seems like a, a love situation that didn't work out with somebody possibly an Aquarius I don't know why I said that so maybe it's an Aquarius but what I was going to say was a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio let me see this uh, four pentacles in reverse what are you letting go of here yeah Like I said, the death card here, three of cups in reverse, 
eight of cups in reverse. It's a process. I mean, I don't think it's saying that you're like a thousand percent there yet, but it seems like a lot of my Leos, y'all letting go of somebody could have had something to do with a third party. Okay, for a lot of you, it was like the connection just didn't feel the same anymore. For some of you, it could have been something you were holding on to for a long time. Like it was hard for you to walk away from it. Okay, but I see you doing that. Yeah, look what's on the bottom here. Six of Swords. That's about moving, you know, moving forward as painful as it may be. Let's see this Hierophant in reverse here, Leo. Clarify this Hierophant in reverse, please, universe. Wow. Wow. The Hierophant is clarified by the Tower in reverse, the Star card, and the Queen of Wands. Somebody is like somebody was about to cause a tower moment in your life. And and it's like, or maybe you had a tower moment happen and now this is about rebuilding a new tower or something that's more stable. But it seems like you're okay with the star and the queen of wands. I don't see you broken. I don't see you damaged. Things could have happened, but I feel like you're at a, you're at a healing stage right now. I mean, on the bottom of the deck, you got the strength card. That's your major arcana card, okay? You're okay. You're confident, you're strong, powerful. You know what I mean? Show me this four wands in reverse. Hmm. Your intuition was telling you something about this connection. Four of Wands in reverse is clarified by the Five of Swords, Ace of Wands in reverse, and the High Priestess. Your intuition was telling you something about this connection. That either the passion was, you know, fizzing out between you and this person. There could have even been mind games, shit that was, you know, conflict that occurred between you and this person. It weakened the foundation between you and this person. You may have even felt like you were, you were putting in so much effort, so much work, and it wasn't leading to getting you nowhere. And that's a frustrating feeling. Let me clarify this Ten of Cups in reverse. Some of you may have kids with this person. Not all of you, a few of you, because the Ten of Cups is here. That's my family card. It's clarified by the Queen of Cups. Okay. Yeah, you love this person. You do. Yeah, you, you had definitely a lot of emotions, care for this person. Some of you still do. Three of Swords in reverse with the Two of Wands. But you know with the Two of Wands energy, that's about being at a crossroads. It's time to make a decision. It's time to make a decision. No matter how much you love somebody, it's time to make a decision because you're not seeing this emotional. This isn't leading you down the yellow brick road. Let me see the Ten of Swords in reverse and then we'll look individually. Beautiful energy, wow. Wow, look at you, bitch, on the bottom. Strength card here again. But the Ten of Swords in reverse is clarified by the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Empress, the Justice card. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. We also got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, Aquarius, Pisces, okay? Another Leo. Um, yeah, healing here. But I love your energy, Empress, Justice. It's like... You know that shit is going to work out according to your favor. And justice is also about cause and effect. So just, the justice card is great when you know you've done nothing wrong. Because you know, you know what I mean? Justice is going to work out in my favor. You know, empress here. You know your worth. You're strong. You're confident. Your energy feels really good. Really, really, really good. Mm-hmm. I like it. Now let's look individually here. I just saw for some of you Leos, you've been getting offers. People are interested in you. But some of you are just not ready. Or the people that are offering you, you know, making love offers, you don't really see as your, you know, your, your person, like a fit for you. All right, 
right, let's see. All right, Leo. How do you feel about this person, Leo? How do you feel about this person, Leo? Let's see. Queen of Swords, activated. The Emperor, ooh. <laughs> Two very dominant energies. <laughs> Ace of Swords in reverse. The Hierophant, wow. Some of you dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Aries. How does this person feel about you? Leo, four swords, contemplation, waiting, needing a time out, strength. There's your major arcana card. So your person's trying to be strong, trying to hold on to God's unchanging hand right now. Two of wands. Okay. Wow, all upright. Almost every single card. Bottom of the deck, overall energy is the nine of pentacles. So you're single right now. They're single. Whoever this is, whoever this is Leo seem like you calling the shots <laughs> it seemed like you calling the shots I'm telling you a lot of you are cutting somebody out it seems like others of you you may be talking to somebody new or even you know dealing with somebody I feel like you are not playing when it comes to them like you're really trying to stay logical you're not trying to be all in your feelings. You start, you're trying to stay in control. And you also, the emperor, when I see the emperor, that's about making a final decision. So I feel like there's something here, some type of finality you come into a decision about. Now, the hierophant is here. So I feel like a lot of you do want commitment, Leos. I don't know if you and this person don't agree on that or marriage or something. And then your person, seem like this person could be on a break right now. You and this person could not be talking at the moment. Okay. And it's really, really hard for them if that's the case. But they're doing it. But they're definitely more like in a waiting energy for some reason. Like they're trying to figure out what they want to do moving forward. You can clarify a few of these. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. But I feel like a lot of you Leos, you do want to be like in something serious and committed. Let me clarify. Why do you have this emperor energy here? Some of you may have Aries in your chart. Can we clarify this emperor energy that's coming through for Leo? Yeah, it's clarified by the Three of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Swords in reverse, and the Queen of Cups. Seem like you got feelings for this person, whoever this is. But I think you're trying to decide here, there's something going on. There's some type of disconnect with the Three of Cups in reverse between you and them. So it could kind of be like, even though I care about this person, Let me see the Queen of Swords. Some of you is an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Telling you, it seems like a lot of you are cutting somebody out from your past. Nine of Swords in reverse, Death card, and the Six of Cups. If it's not a past energy, it's somebody that you felt something special but with at one point. But there's also sabotage here. There's also damage here. Could be a Scorpio for some of you. Clarify this Ace of Swords in reverse. There could have been an argument. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles. There could have been some type of argument. Somebody could have lost their temper. Somebody could have really been like, you know what, I've had it. 
but it feels like one of you was actually really, really, really trying and the other one wasn't. I don't know who that is. Maybe I, I feel like for a lot of you as your person, depending on the way you feel, your cards are coming out. Let's clarify this hierophant. This feels like somebody you were very, very committed to. Yeah. See the magician. I feel like this is somebody you were very, very committed to. And then eight of wands in reverse. It could have been a breakdown in communication. Five of wands here. There's drama, conflict, possibly competition with the star in reverse. Something somewhere along the way, it's like you lost hope. I feel like you were committed to this person at one point. Let's look at your person now. Let's clarify this four of swords. Strength in reverse, hangman, the world. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, your person going through it. Could be another Leo some of you dealing with. Your person's going through it, but I feel like in the midst of this, y'all having this pause, because it seems like there's your person's a little bit distant right now, needs a little bit of space. They're thinking a lot. See, the world is here. That's why I say I don't feel like this is somebody brand new. I feel like this is somebody you have a little bit of history with. For many of you, it's a lot of history. What fell on the floor here? The tower fell on the floor. Could have had a tower moment between you and somebody. Let me see this strength card. Because your person's trying to hold on to guys on changing hands. Page of swords, knight of wands in reverse, two of swords. Your person could be spying on you too, keeping tabs on you. Some of you that have social media, okay? Because they're still kind of, they still have that interest, that peak interest up with you, you know? Like they still like, hmm, what's Leo up to? You know? Some of you, they think you're dating other people. I don't know who that's for. Let me see the two of wands. They're definitely here at this crossroad energy. Temperance, higher front and reverse, six of wands. Some of you dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus. I think your person is trying to decide here if, if they can save this or not. Let me see the seven of pentacles. Lovers in reverse, the tower, there it is, seven of cups. There's that tower again that fell on the floor. Your person, yeah, there was a tower moment that happened between the two of you. It fucked up the connection. But you see how they picking up on the seven of cups? I don't like that energy. That's my temptation card. There's been, if you haven't, this person haven't really spoke, they definitely um, miss you. Definitely miss you. This is deep here, Leo. Let's look one more time here and then we're gonna go into the extended. How do you see this person, Leo? How do you see this person, Leo? <laughs> nine of swords. Why are you seeing this person as a nine of swords? Can we clarify this nine of swords? Some of you feel like this person was stressful. It was a lot of maybe arguments with them. Okay. Could have been drama with them. Some of you kind of know this person's been keeping tabs on you. But a lot of you feel like, either a lot of you feel like you, a lot of you kind of know this person is stressed out or something, or you see this person as being stressed, like stressful, bringing you anxiety. But a lot of you feel like this person is stressed out for some reason here. What popped out? Could be because you cut them off for some of you. How else do you see this person, Leo? The 
Eight of Cups. Why are you seeing them as the Eight of Cups? Some of you, this person walked away from you. Oh, because of the Four of Swords. So this is the card that came out earlier for them. So it, you think... So some of you feel like this person walked away or some of you feel like maybe they walked away just for now because they just need a pause or other others of you just feel like they needed a break or something away from this. But I don't think you like that. Yeah. That was like the last straw for some of you. Keep showing me. Yeah. This is something, I feel like this is somebody serious to you, for real. Like, this wasn't just no booty call. How does this person see you? The Ace of Swords. Why are they seeing you as the Ace of Swords? Queen, the King of, I'm telling you, this person feel like you cutting them off. Or like you being like real cold towards them. How else does this person see you? Strength in reverse. Yeah, like you done. You're done. Like you're tired of, you know, maybe putting up with a shit when I see this strength in reverse. Telling you, King and Queen of Swords, man. They think that you, it's like this person feels like you're done with them. Okay. How else does this person feel about Leo? Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Why are they the Knight of Swords? What popped out? Oh my eyes. Why are the Knight of Swords? The Chariot. I think this person feels like you moved on. They're trying to manifest you for some of you. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Taurus another leo all right let's go into the extended now because in the extended we're going to take a look and see what your person's future actions are going to be all right what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you in the future we'll also go ahead and pull you some oracle advice to see how you should proceed in the future and in love all right thank you guys for watching hit that like button leave me a comment subscribe share all that good stuff and thanks again for watching it's good to be back with you guys yeah, take care. I love you and I'll see you in the extended. All right. Bye.